and ballet dancers, opera singers, and the polka are part of a special performance that's only in town for a night. And according to our immunity, that's not all. She brings a preview of that and another special event offering Seoul Nights a glimpse into relics from the lost city of Pompeii. The Vienna Waltz Orchestra, a globe-trotting chamber orchestra known for its performance of traditional Viennese waltzes, marches, and polkas. They're set to touch down in Seoul, bringing with them soprano Bettina Schweiger. They'll be performing a few favorites by Johann Strauss II, Brahms' classic Hungarian dance number no. five, and a few other pieces from the polka repertoire. The orchestra will be led by founding conductor Sandro Culturello. Beautiful lush greenery in an ancient city that once had a running water system, an amphitheater, a gymnasium, and a port. The people of the Roman city of Pompeii were crushed under six meters of pumice and ash after the eruption of Mount Vesuvius, bearing with them all of their belongings. 300 artifacts from the ruined city have been put on display at the National Museum of Korea, including tools, weapons, charred loaves of bread, and even the cast entombing the victims preserved under the ashes for almost 2,000 years. The exhibition gives viewers a unique glimpse into the luxurious lifestyles found in the Vesuvian city. In Pompeii, we have not a museum, so you have to see, it's possible to see the, this uh, magnificent ob object here, but not in Pompeii. Im Yun-hee, Arirang News.